Hello, this is Olekius, and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts as the French. Coming back to our designs, we're going to take a suggestion for the Mistral class, which is our first set of gunboats. Venerable class has done very well for us, especially considering how small they are. They're under a thousand tons, and they have taken out light cruisers and gun duels. <clears throat> yeah, we know the hull is obsolete. It's fine. Apparently the torpedo launchers have changed. Mark three deck tubes mount differently. Okay. So we have our updated five inch guns. Those we don't really have to change anything because they're there. I've already been done. We'll look at the main tower. We're using front tower two, which is this one. We could take an advanced tower, but the accuracy really isn't all that better, except for long range accuracy. And that, that not not very useful for destroyer. Actually, there we've got two kinds. Which one are we using? 22 ton one. That's this one. Yeah, that's not that different. I don't think we really need to update it. Rear tower one, which should just be that. We do have, should have new tunnels. Funnels. Funnel small. Okay, so we're using the tiny ones. These ones are bigger. Bigger yet. We're looking at five and a half to seven and a half. And it's like, why bother? Although we're going to have trouble fitting this with the torpedoes block them? No. There we go. They fit. Um, well, we have Quinston's rangefinder. We can go ahead and update that. We want to have semi-oil and switch to gear turbines. Can we get away with that? How does that affect range? 200 kilometers? Not a big deal. For those not too familiar with it, the engine efficiency affects acceleration, torque, high end torque specifically, operational range, and cruising speed. So if we look at, let's go all the way to Forest, which doubles it, it gives us stats like that. see we want there's our damage control uh let's see Are short barreled and bring them out to the normal length. Proved our armor piercing. That's reasonable. Switch to high capacity. What are we looking at? Oh, geez, that damage is absurd. Yeah, I'm going to go with the high capacity. I 
switch to TNT tube powder does hurt our damage values quite a bit but that's okay could do cordite flash fire chance isn't too crazy about the value. It's not really there. Get the ox for the better damage control. And shafts. Plus size the torpedoes. We'll have to jigger this a little bit. to something a bit more like a induced, maybe even forest. Improve the barbettes, we have the capability. The capacity standard light increased, hydraulic. Fast 20 inch, 55 knot speed. I, I love those. I do want the acoustics. Advanced. This is a mine hunter. Depth charges will be more important. Hate to lose the mine sweeping gear. Can lose the radio. That's not that big a deal. Hmm, that hurts. That is a lot of weight. What's her max? So, yeah. She's a little bit of a piggy. That's not much. Could reduce the torpedo load. That'll help some. Smaller torpedoes won't. Can lose the reloading. Hydraulic turret shouldn't be a problem. Go to half inch on the deck. Lose the fore and aft deck. Lose the superstructure armor. Oh, that really isn't much. It's two tons. That's it. Two tons to have the funnel armored. Basically, that is excessive. That's where all our weight was. Why should we protect the guns that much better? Not even be able to add the deck back in. There you go. 
great armor for our destroyer. We have our depth charges and our mine sweeping. Can we? We can fit the radio back on. How expensive does the radio make it? Oh, that's nothing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That works. Take a look at engine efficiency real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Could do induced. Yeah, that's way too much. We've already pushed the speed. So yeah, we'll use the forest. Now help her be a little bit more maneuverable anyways. Let's see. Let's actually generate another month. Hey, look, bigger and destroyers. More of the majors poking at each other. Finance is looking better already. By year, we've done our mistrals. Do we have any more Galileans? We do. We have three left. Are they worth keeping around? I want to say for a class of three light cruisers, we'll just axe the design. We'll get rid of those. I think those were meant as raiders, maybe. Yeah, because we were with mines. Yeah, yeah, this is our mine later slash raider. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. We don't need those anymore. Galois, I think we have four of these, or maybe just two. Yeah, it's four. So if we look at that, we can go ahead and update these, see what that looks like. Oh uh, yeah, the high secondary. Nice. Very fast. Throw in semi-oil. I'm gonna fit them for turbo electrics. For all the reasons I gave last episode, because I think they're really cool. We'll strip off the bulge. Which I know that's been kind of a new philosophy, but uh, we'll regret it at some point. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, right. These got the nine inches.
fours and sixes, which can get some penetration with HE. I'm tempted to keep him with the capped ballistics. Especially since these are very fast, so they can kind of kite the enemy around. Stay at range. Oh man, we can get away with Pickwick Acid. I like the TNT for the lower fire chance though. Fire is nasty for a battleship. Keep the hydraulics, keep the enhanced. Increased light shells, stereoscopic. Equip the hydros, the radio. How heavy are the hydros? Yeah, it's like a 40 ton set. Main tower wise, we're already using advanced tower 2. Rear tower 2. Wait, rear tower 2. This one. Oh, right, because we had that dip in accuracy. And these are a lot heavier. And a lot bigger. And to fit everything, we wanted to keep it within range. Okay. Tall Enhanced Funnel 2. Already kind of there. Tall Advanced Funnel 3 is a little bit bigger, so we'll leave the funnels. No reason to change them. I'm imagining what reconstructing the interior of the ship if we were to add a B turret and delete this 5 inch or 4 inch. Like, what would that actually entail? It's mind boggling. I'm just gonna move that whole rotating portion, that round portion that's here. We're just gonna move it up there, place a new one. It's fine. Let's see if we can fit four turrets. And <laughs> blocks visibility from the bridge. Yes. That's amazing. Oh, we'll keep them there. A little bit of space to breathe. Oh, I can't put those on the side. Can only do the... Ah, there we go. Mate, I wanted the turret. That looks a little silly. And overhanging off the deck, also a little bit silly. Can we move this, and we're gonna overhang it here. Works on that end, it just does not on this end. So what's the point of having it raised if we can't make it work? There we go. We lose that super raised one in the front and gain it on the sides. We have arcs that look like that. Up 
upgrading to three barreled turrets might work out, but I don't. We have an accuracy penalty for using those, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get away with this. Like the older battleships, pre dreadnoughts, made sense for them to move to triples since we only had two turrets. On something like this, where we have four, we have no penalties to accuracy by using a dual, but we do for using a triple. So, why carry the weight if we're not going to effectively use it? Case made six inch, which is a bit heavy. Uh, can we extend those? Yeah, 13 and a half kilometers. Four inch will find where they are. They're meant for taking smaller targets. Anything else we want to do? I don't think we want to increase the speed too much. Wow. I was looking at how much the engine efficiency matters. Oh, nice. We can make her fast. is more of a concern. We have enough armor quality to make it viable though. We get the inner belt. Just having the citadel upgraded and maxed out already helps her protection scheme tremendously. Make sure the barbette, we extended the six inch. Uh, we do need a little bit more armor on the tops. Like 1.5 here, 2 inch on 6. Sorry, maxed out in width. Uh, oh, we only got that half inch. That works. We're quickly. Oh, she's got a good belt too. I think if we're going to add anything, it's going to be. Oh, not four deck. It's going to be some balancing armor. Since we tend to be forward heavy, this allows us to put additional armor over the steering gear. Which has been a focus recently. She gets to go 36 knots. She could be super expensive. <laughs> She's a billion dollars. It's fine. It's fine. The adoring public won't mind. Don't pay attention to that 10 on rest. It's okay. It's fine. All right. Quite a list of refits now. I like what the Galois has become. I like the Mistral. I like the Invincible, the Velarus, the Shamop. I'm less enthusiastic about, but the refit's pretty cheap, so I can't argue with that. Let's see, our next round will be the Palestro and the Verite. I'm pretty sure the Verite was. a suggestion now with a suggested update so we're going to do that
almost like an updated Galois. Almost. Not quite the same. But if you remember, this is the one with all the half calibers that we've seen in a couple of fights. It was suggested that maybe we bump these up to 12 inch since now we have the weight. Either in three triple turrets or four 12 inch turrets. We'll go with the four 12 inch for much the same as the Galois. Push us out for the angles. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm trying to make these a little bit compact. Save weight that way. Then we can lengthen the barrels. All guns. semi-oil geared turbines were already there we're going to include the auxiliaries this one our experiment is going to be the electric steering gear or a little bit faster steering shifting steering we we'll leave the torpedo bulge be our other difference. We're gonna upgrade our citadel. There we go. Now let's validate that we are using the better towers. We could upgrade that, but it this is the same as the Galois. It's gonna be really big. We don't have a lot of space to fit that. This one wouldn't necessarily fit if we want to have all the funnel funnel space that we do. This would be the advanced tower two, which we're already using. Funnel wise, we're looking at tall enhanced funnel three. Already as good as it gets. Could switch to Thin enhanced, but it looks like that'll take up the same amount of space because of the uh, handling machinery that sticks out of it. And the thins, we won't have enough funnels. So we're already there. Could switch to forced. would get quite a lot of range out of that. It's an extra 1,500 kilometers. I'm going to use Dunite for this one. Because we're using Dunite, we're going to maximize that penetration with the tube powder. We'll upgrade the hydraulics for the turrets. Need to upgrade the ballistic shells. Because we're extending this out to maximum range and there's six and a half, not six, like the Galois. And we have this space. We're gonna 
leave these with the capped ballistic HEs, which actually I think that is what we did with the galleries. Like our others, we're going to keep the improved stereoscopic. Hmm, all right, so what else do we have? Let's fully kit out the Citadel, see where we lie. We want the barbettes to be maxed out. Side armor if we can. I remember having to cut that down for the ship before. 12 inch. We're starting to see horizontal armor not be able to keep up. If we go down to natural, can actually the engine efficiency will suffer slightly. Not much. The range almost operational range almost doesn't change, but it affects the acceleration and torque. Speed and operational range are minimally affected. In fact, that actually induced the operational range is even higher. Let's see what we can get out of the deck for this. Let's see if we can get three inches over the rear. Sacrifice a little on the belt. Nah, we'll have to sacrifice too much. I don't like that. Oh, we're right there at capacity already. Just trying to normalize that aft offset a little bit. As I take it from the belt to add it to the deck. 5%? I'm willing to put up with that. Alright. Can we perhaps? No. Not a chance. There we go, we managed to beef up the deck armor a full inch. I think a bit more than that. We were less than two inches on the main deck before. I like where this is headed, so I'm pretty pleased with it. check where we are with fleet standing for that and the cruisers. Those are the Palestros, I think, which actually they fared very well. 
I'm not sure we have any. So that was the Verte. Which we have... Three left of those. Palestros, we do actually have three. Is that the one for 1904? It sure is. So we could look to upgrade these as kind of the mini... Many Veloruses, as they are. Let's take a look at that. Might run a little over on time. But if we get four ships designed in one episode, I'll be pretty happy. That'll get us most of the way here, and then by the end of the week, we'll get to see a little bit more. All right, so the Palestro upgrade, refit, we want semi-oil, natural if we can afford it, turboelectrics like her big brother, better auxiliaries, upgraded armor, we're going to keep the anti-torpedo bulge on these. Citadel 3, because these are supposed to do combat with light cruisers. So we're going to see more, more of that. 2 powder, TNT 2. Yeah, let's upgrade the hydraulics. Keep that. Stereoscopic or coincidence rangefinder. These are pretty beefy secondaries for a heavy cruiser. Does that update our accuracies here? 3.9 for 5 kilometers? 3.8. 10 kilometers is 0.7. Point seven. So yeah, it makes sense for us to have coincidence rangefinders on this as the min-max for that. Not that we're into min-maxing, but there you go. We're not adding depth charges to this. Not what she's meant to do. Front tower eight which is our minimal tower because we needed to fit the forward turret. And that is not too much of an improvement between those. So I see what I was getting at there. You get the advanced tower fitted. Oh, is she, is she not wide enough for that? I don't think she is. Yeah, I remember this. We had trouble squeezing it in because we narrowed her beam. I actually fit those. We could still upgrade the tower. We're not gonna do that either. We'll keep it the way it was. Actually, can I undo? No. We will use triple eights. Not the best angles on these. Secondary tower wise, we have rear tower five. Again, very minimal, but we didn't want to have to drop down to the cruiser secondary tower. But the base accuracy is better. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we could fit it into the existing app superstructure. That's why we used it. I see. Interesting. I feel like we cheesed that now. Medium enhanced twos and dual funnel twos. Uh, I remember this too. Yeah, we can't fit three. Not on either of those. There's not a, enough space to fit one in there. For the twos, we're looking at 6.5. Which is also the case for the th <coughs> Pardon me. Also true for the threes, which is why we ended up using the duels, because those are quite a lot. Could we fit the triples? No. It's entirely why we did that. Hmm. It's all coming back. That's why we had the flip split funnels to have the capacity for her to go so fast. No, makes sense. Normal length eights. Or I have the dual sixes. Can we fit triples? Oh, that's silly. We're doing it. Oh, it makes her so much heavier. That's a rough fit. Alternatively, we just delete one of them and we'll place that with something else. And that has just as many barrels. So we get six barrels of eight, six barrels of six. Especially if we extend these. Oh, the eights are Mark twos. Oh, that changes things. Oh man, that's different. Because the sixes have more range and accuracy. So we don't even need to lengthen them. But we can distance match with eights. There we go. So rate of fire is double with the sixes. This makes the argument to have the split battery even higher. That's crazy. Casemates, I think we got the really narrow two inch. Yeah. Do we have any underwater tubes? Okay, good. Can we fit any torpedo launchers on here? No. Could throw a deck launcher on the back. Be a little awkward, but we could do it. Also be heavy. What's that look like? Throw on 20 inch as torpedoes. One reload. We can fit it, but is it better to have the armor? That's 78 tons. And we haven't even added the tertiaries back. Can't do it. So we lose the central ones so that we can have maintain the sides. Oh, 
Why is this one blocked? This is a weird turret, really. Well, let's scooch her back. Why is that interfering? differently. Yeah, that interferes. How silly is that? There we go. Do we want these? Or do we do something more? Reasonable. Is gonna bug me. Oh, but it'll take take a while to get them all reset properly. We'll leave them as is. But it bugs me to have this on the bottom. All right, it's kind of a weird, weird sort of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's just keep these at two. One and a half, one. Or even half an inch on top. One inch on the sixes. Side armor's already maxed out. Barbettes are maxed out. Normalized the ranges for the sixes and the eights. The fours we're going to leave normal. We have the extra inner deck, so we don't have to worry about that too much. We'll keep the fore and aft the same. Conic tower is maxed out, main belt's maxed out, as well as the inner. Now we just have the fore and aft. So how do we save that last little bit? I already chopped the weight on the boilers. We can leave it at, we can not modify the torpedo bulge. We'll leave it as an anti torp too. with that we'll increase the forward belt and the aft deck There we go. Rather awkward refit. Quarter of a billion dollars. These turbo electrics are so expensive. I don't even care about that though. We're not putting them on every class. A new build will probably be geared turbines. Maybe diesels if we get to that point. Hmm, especially cruisers. Cruisers will benefit from diesels. If we can get up to gas turbines, even better. There's no reason not to use them. Oh, well, diesels have more range. Gas turbines are shorter ranged, but they have, they're small, compact. 
can get a lot of good speed out of them. Look at all those refits that we have available. That leaves us with the last few refits we could consider are the Intendards, the Vercingetorix, Sulfurino, the Magans, Glaives, and uh, Tages. The, the Glaives and Tages will probably won't. These are new build. So really the Intendard, Vercingetorix, Sulfurino, Magan. We have four Magans. We have four Vercingetorix. We have four Sulfurino. And ten Dards, we have seven left. Might be worth keeping all of them. These are the four inch gunboats, which did surprisingly well. I thought they would struggle a little bit with the four inch, but the four inch actually did pretty well. The Magans are mine layers. We might scratch that design. And they're not terrible cruisers. They are intended to actually fight, unlike our previous class. But we can remove the mines. Look at reconfiguring them to be kind of sub hunter convoy escorts, maybe? Something like that. And then the Vercingetorix Sulfurino, we saw you. Lot of similarities. Sulfurino actually we see the new hull. Newer. It's none of them are new. But with that I'm gonna call it here. I appreciate you staying to the end. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you all next time. Take care everyone.